Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, and thank you all for clicking on today's video. So, in today's video, the to-do list is basically, basically, to complete Colin's room. We're decorating his room. He's moving out of the crib and into a toddler bed. So, we're going to redo his whole room, and I'll show you the before, um, um, how it looks before, before we actually get into painting and doing everything. Um, but yeah. The only thing I haven't figured out if I wanted to change was the ceiling fan. And I just don't know, do we need ceiling fans? Um, we have central air, so I'm not... And I haven't picked out one that I liked, so we just going to leave the ceiling fan for right now. Um, but yeah, let me show y'all what the room looked like beforehand. Alright, so I just got the shades up for some natural lighting. But yeah, <laughs> all of this stuff, like... The pink chair, it has to go. Yeah, I don't know. But we're going to get rid of this. Corey's going into the crib, so he's coming out. But yeah, it's just basic, like a lot of basic random stuff. It's nothing on the walls. I told y'all, haven't made up my mind about ceiling fans. We'll get to that later, another day. But yeah, we're just going to, uh, we're going to paint this wall. And put up his name on the wall, but I don't have that yet. So yeah. We'll probably do that tomorrow but yeah we're about to get started now okay so first let me just say that i am not an interior designer and i literally just find my ideas off of pinterest and i make them my own according to my budget and yeah that's basically what we're doing right here um right now is what i'm trying to explain to Shiv what i want how i want it to look and we're just taping out the wall so we can you know paint the sections that we want to paint y'all when he started using this blue paint it started looking like a hot mess like I was worried it wasn't going to come out right and it, I picked the wrong blue paint because I've done it before in one of mirror rooms back in the day but yeah just <laughs> continue watching it comes out looking better than it does right now. So as far as these curtains, I thought they were going to be blackout curtains, which is what I wanted in this room, but they weren't. So I was a little annoyed, especially for the price that they cost. They should have been blackout curtains, but they go with the design of the room and the whole aesthetic. So I kept them. Um, I might have to order, which I don't want to, another um, set of them, but yeah. You see, this is how the blue looks right now, and the gray, and it, it, it looks a lot much, like a lot better. So, yeah. We're adding the TV in his room. We're gonna add a TV in all of our kids' room. That's our prerogative. And we are trying to figure out, well, Shug is figuring out how to mount it on the wall. So that's what we're doing right now. This muscle. Oh, I got a lot of muscle. Okay. All right. This is as far as we got done for the room. Shook hung the TV. And I, again, I said I got to get keen to install the outlet behind the wall. Until now, I'm going to go get a cord cover tomorrow. I didn't even think about that. So he won't, like, pull it down or anything dangerous. I still got to figure out what I'm going on that wall between the closets. These are not the curtain rods I bought for his room. These were extra ones we had throughout the house that the house came with. So we just moved them to in here. Um, yeah. 
the dresser i think the dresser is staying here i don't know we again we're gonna finish tomorrow because this wall isn't done there's like little triangles they have to go in the white triangle like yeah where are they oh here they go yeah these triangles i don't know if i'm doing both blue and gray or just blue in the white section so yeah i gotta figure that out um and i also gotta steam the curtains but i feel like yeah you could tell they you could tell they wrinkle yeah they gotta get steamed but yeah and then this is how the tv looks like this is where his bed would be and that's the tv right there um yeah i don't know if i'm putting the books on that wall or the books right there i gotta see how small the shelves are um yeah and i gotta get i do want his name on his wall but i gotta figure out how i'm gonna put it on there so it's the triangle is gonna be a distraction but yeah it's like 8 30 and we gotta get these kids to bed all right, so here I am trying to put these triangles on the wall and get them like evenly spaced and just symmetrical. I don't know, but I know how I want it to look. So yeah, I'm using this ruler so I can like measure out exactly how many inches across that they are and how many inches down each row is just so they can like all look cohesive, I guess. like. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I found this bed at the kids thrift store. It was like $40 and it was navy blue. And I knew he was transitioning him out of the crib. So yeah, I'm like, why not? And if you've seen, there's a glimpse of the wall back there with all the triangles done. So yeah, we're about to get this bed in here and take the crib out and put it into the other room. So everything that I bought for Colin's room is linked down below in the description box. Just hit the down arrow. And yeah, if I was able to link it, I did. If you see something in this video that isn't linked, just let me know in the comment section and I'll be gladly to tell you where I got it from and I just couldn't link it. Like even this, you know, um, mattress, it's from Amazon if you're looking for a infant toddler mattress. So yeah. Okay, so this was our DIY changing table and I had to take it out of Kennedy's room um, just because they had a lot of furniture in there and I decided to use it in here. But before all you mom police come for me, you know, stay tuned and watch to the end to see how I secured this to the wall because yeah, we don't want any, you know, accidents happening.
So this is one of those Ikea bookshelves. I think it's called Collax or something like that. And we purchased the additional cabinetry to make cabinets. Um, so I took them off where they were originally and I put them on a different uh, spot because why not use them? They cost like $15 a piece to add the cabinet. So yeah, that's what those are there for. And I changed out the knobs, stay tuned for that. Now onto this carpet. I, again, I'm not an interior designer. I did not know how I wanted this carpet. So I just was playing around until I got it right or felt like it looked right. And you're gonna see that black dresser off to the left of the screen. Uh, that's from my bedroom and it's too small. So I was thinking I should paint it and put, cause we have two of them, yeah. And we, not, we haven't returned them. So I was thinking I should paint this maybe white and put it next to his bed and put the lamp on it i'm not sure yet so yeah that's why you see that this lamp this this nightstand is in his room right now because i was just trying to get a feel for what i was doing what i was going with and how i wanted to look but yeah this carpet it was like ugh, no this looks horrible it looks horrible every way that i was putting it but i figured it out keep watching So my son asks for juice like every hour so we wanted to just like personalize his room a bit and this was like the perfect way to like add a little column into this room which is like a personalized pillow cover so you'll see what I did with this at the towards the end of the video and where I put it. Okay guys, so I got this bed set from Amazon, but literally I feel like everywhere sells it. Target sells it, um, Bed Bath & Beyond sells it. So yeah, and I just bought all the accessories to match the bed set. So the lamp, the hamper, the curtains, everything you see is the same thing, the same exact color, the same exact stripe. I guess that's the theme of the room. I didn't want to go with any like design or anything because I feel like if I let Colin pick, he would have wanted Coco Melon Room and I just didn't want to walk into a Coco Melon Room every day. So yeah, that's why we went with stripes and a, a neutral boy colored theme room. So originally I had Shook hang this picture here which is from Rawls and it's not linked but I found something else from Big Lots which is not linked and you'll see towards the end of the video um, what I put there but right now I am hanging the word read for Colin's reading section and I got these letters from Mike School. They were white. I painted them with the same color of uh, paint that we used for his wall and I'm using command strips like 
velcro strips to secure them to the wall. This reading section is really my favorite part of the room. Uh, it just came out so cute. I'm adding a plant to it, but I was wondering like, should I put like the fake moss in there? But knowing him, he'll have it on the floor. So I just left it in a little pot with the fake dirt that's already in there. Like you can't move the dirt unless you're like really, really trying. So yeah, I just left it like that and just put the chair in front of it. So, you know, he don't try anything funny. So here are the furniture mounts that we went with. And we, again, we got them off of Amazon. And although I never like had to mount furniture before when it was just Kennedy, you know, every kid is different. And Colin doesn't give me Spider-Man vibes, but we're just gonna be safe than sorry. So you see, originally he should loop them one loop I went back and did it and looped it twice so it wouldn't even tilt over as much if it possibly tried to fall for whatever reasons and right now I'm just changing out the gold knobs you can see Shug drilled the cabinets in so I'm just changing out the old knobs um, from gold because there's no gold in his room and I changed them to silver because it would have bothered me So yeah, I had to get Shook to drill another hole to hang up this, which is what I found from Big Lots. And yeah, I still have to go back and fix those two little holes in the middle from the previous picture that we hung.
I bought these magnetic curtain ties for the curtains I thought I bought. So it didn't necessarily work on these, but I still wanted to try. And it looked horrible, but I'm still going to keep the curtain ties anyway for somewhere else in my house. So you guys don't see the line I drew in pencil across with that red leveler just to make sure I am evenly like putting the word Colin on the right spot and they're not like ones up and ones down and I'm not eyeballing it. I did the same thing with the read sign but right now I'm just trying to get them like evenly spaced. So that's all I'm doing right now and I was having a hard time with that. It only took us like forever and a day, but we are finally done with Colin's room and I am happy with how it turned out. I think me and Shug did a wonderful job and yeah, I'm pretty like amazed at how it looks. And I did go back and add some of his stuff in there, which you'll see like in the next couple seconds just to like really personalize it and make it his own. But yeah guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.